Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Where are you going? Just like decided to go onto my property, that's funny. Anyhow, uh, we have a few things that we need to do today. I wanted to go ahead and work on getting some stuff crafted up. We probably have some boots and stuff that we need to be need to craft. We also have food that we need to be crafting. Uh, we have the relationship stuff, of course. And, um, you know, some probably some other tasks that we need to attend to. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the leather from here. And then we'll grab the fur as well. And we've got flax stock. That can actually be moved over to the other place, I think. Uh, we got some rot. Dob. So yeah, we have some building that we need to do as well. So we'll go over here and then we'll put this stuff in here and then we'll grab the leather and we will grab the fur. Hopefully that won't weigh us down too much and then we can craft up some boots. I'm not sure how many we'll, we'll be able to craft up three so should get quite a bit of money from that. I think it's about roughly $80 for a boot, so, well, boots, I guess. Well, they call them shoes, but they look like boots. <clears throat> like with the, um, the fur part at the top, it looks more like boots. Uh, those are boots, um, but they share the same icon as that, so I don't know how that works. We don't have uh, that unlocked at the moment, so um, I am going to put the rest of the fur back, though, and we'll put the leather back as well. We also got some other things we can sell. The wine, uh, pear wine that we got, so that's worth like 260 gold. So we also got some rye bread, uh, one piece of that, so we'll be able to sell those things as well. Uh, I'm going to check to see if there's anything in here that we can actually go ahead and sell. Looks like, like six buckets. And we've got some of our other buckets here that need to be um, filled up. So we've got also ten bulls. We can sell those. Uh, I'm going to sell the feathers as well. Uh, not all of them. Just uh, 59 of them. So we can keep that 100 mark in our storage. All right. So let's head on into town, and then we'll see if we can't um, get some money. Maybe we can unlock some stuff as well, so we'll see if we can't work on that. Uh, there's tons of stuff that we could unlock. It's just a matter of getting it unlocked. <laughs> oh, but there is...
All right, so I just got the cooking done. We still have uh, 48 cabbages and a lot of meat. We just ran out of bowls, that's all. So I'm gonna store that stuff for later uh, over here. Uh, we've been cooking it anyway, so it's not like we won't be able to craft more up. And I'm gonna put the rest of it in the um, food storage and then these guys should be taken care of for a while so we got quite a bit of stuff here that they'll be able to go through and uh, I put the buckets in here as well so they'll be able to do that now let's uh, go ahead and I think we have one more building that still needs do I have my hammer on me no I don't so we're gonna need our hammer and then we're gonna use that daub uh, and Hopefully finish that house as well. So we're gonna grab both of these hammers Just because this one's just about to break so We'll maybe get like two maybe one hit out of it, and then it'll be broken But I'm pretty sure that one house still needs to be upgraded Fully so we'll be able to do something We've Got ten, 20 daubs, so it should be enough to upgrade that one we'll Take a quick look inside and see what we got so, eat, yeah, we'll, we'll have enough, and then we might have some left over. Yeah, we got like three hits out of that. All right, so we'll finish upgrading this, and we'll upgrade this one, and then this, then all three houses are basically upgraded. Uh, we could probably, do we have enough for that? Almost enough to finish that up. We'll start working on the smaller buildings then for finishing adding daub uh, like these ones and then I think uh, these are pretty big projects to work on but we could work on those um, might do the logging no it's mostly just for aesthetics at this point so like the houses you need insulation for the people to use less firewood if you have insulation but uh, there isn't really any benefit for um, upgrading these ones outside of you know, the style of what it looks like. Um, so, not just those, but like any production building, like for example, um, if there's walls on this, there, that would count. The barn, or that, or the well, if there was any walls on that. Uh, the sewing hut, anything that was basically production, or like, that requires, you know, workspace. Uh, because this is like workspace and then there's this which is like um
Alrighty then, uh, I ended up accepting a quest for the hunter, which is him. And uh, it turns out we just needed a knife. Usually we have to craft up a bow or something. So I guess it's like balanced. So um, <clears throat> it progressively gets harder uh, the more higher tier you are in the, like how much progress you've made. So uh, I'm guessing that's how it works because I've noticed a lot of the stuff that we can do is at really low um, low amounts. So things like wooden hammers and stuff like that. Before on my other save, it required like copper hammers. So I think it progressively gets harder as you progress. So at least that's what I'm thinking. Anyhow, um, now I was going to do something. Uh, I wanted to add a table. I'm gonna rework this uh, entire thing right here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put in a new table. I think a new table right about, I don't know, will it be able to be put? I think it would probably be best to have it like this. And we'll see if we can't bring the path up to here a little bit more. Just so it's mostly dirt. And then what we can do is we can put some seating in. There we go. So that will look a little bit nicer for them, I think. Uh, they'll be able to... Actually, you know what? We could have probably kept the bench there too. Uh, let's go ahead and craft another bench up then. Uh, actually, we haven't checked to see what we've unlocked. We have unlocked the herbalist uh, shed or hut. A wood shed. We have fishing. Production wise, uh, we have a smithy. I can't remember what the smithy was used for. I think it's like tools and stuff, so we can basically make basic tools now, I think. Um, kitchen, that's good, we'll need that. Workshop, we have it. We have the, we have this one and that one so far. Uh, we don't have the kitchen and we don't have the tavern. Taverns lock, unlocked at a lower, uh, at a longer period in the game, so, and we, don't have enough yet for a market stall or a builder's hut, so. Storage-wise, we already have these two built. Animals, we can have pigs now, so that-
core rate, guys. So I literally just got 100% 100% perfection on our perfection, 100% affection on our uh, this the the person that we've been working on for a while. Um, I ended up getting all of them back to back um, correct, and we got 100%. So uh, we're going to move. Oh, we can't do it actually today. Um, Okay, what we'll do is next episode next episode we'll probably have a hundred percent still. If not, then it should be easy enough to get a hundred percent again. But uh we'll definitely um <clears throat> be ready to move uh forward and then we can get her moved in with us and then we can free up that house and then we can assign just trying to think what we need for assignments. Um Someone in the sewing building would be good, as well as... Uh, a well, maybe? Could use another hunter, actually. Um, we kind of need another hunter for the sewing place, so we'll see if we can't find another hunter and another person to do the um, sewing. But um, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.